Hello everybody, my name is Gunnar Berger and I'm a research director at Gartner and last week I was in San Francisco where I got to stop by quite a few different vendors offices and one vendor I stopped by was Framehawk. Uh, they had some really interesting technology and so I shot a video while I was on site and I wanted to share that video with you today. Uh, as this video goes along I'm just going to provide some voiceover uh, as I cut my original uh, audio out of it, you'll just have to forgive me. Uh, but what you're seeing here are three different settings. Originally there was four. Uh, the fourth iPad was running Microsoft uh, using RDP, uh, some previous version of RDP because Microsoft doesn't actually build an RDP 8 protocol for iPad. Uh, but anyway, I didn't really like its performance so I cut it out of my final video. And what you see here is me comparing uh, VMware View at the bottom left, Citrix to the right of that, and then on the top, Framehawk. Uh, as I go through the test, this first test I'm using latency at about 250 milliseconds and no loss. And as you see, I scroll up and down on the various iPads and they all give a similar result. Um, so latency being 250, that's, that's a pretty high amount of latency. Um, but nonetheless, this can happen uh, in, in certain scenarios. Um, and the idea between, behind these tests are that I'm going to be testing some really uh, difficult scenarios. Uh, so now I've up to latency up to 5% loss and as the top shows Framehawk I go up and down and it's very uh, well responsive and as I go to the Citrix test or sorry that's VMware test right there and then the Citrix test you find that they're both uh, a bit laggy which makes sense. Uh, typically 5% loss is pretty high in, in well it's very high in most environments. Um, but here again, Framehawk is showing off that even at this high loss, it still gives a very good user experience. Now on the uh, next few tests I'm going to do, I'm going to do a 10% loss test and a 50% loss test. Um, these tests are kind of insane. But if you look at the typical video that I do and you see other people doing um, on YouTube that they're comparing VDI uh, technologies or protocol technologies, uh, you tend to do a video test, and video test is a niche use case, right? We're not always on a virtual desktop doing a video test or running video, uh, but it's a use case that we like to test just because it pushes the limits. So here I'm now testing 10% uh, loss, and uh, we're going to up it up now to 50% loss. Now, if you're on a 50% loss network, you have some major problems, but nonetheless, it's fun to see this executed. So here, again, Framehawk up and down, immediately responsive, and the other ones have completely fallen apart. Both Citrix and VMware cannot handle this type of environment. Um, and frankly, these environments don't really exist. So it's, it's cool as a test. It's not something that you really see in the real world, but it really does show that Framehawk has some really interesting uh, IP in their technology. Um, now, as I was at Framehawk, I was easily able to find holes in their protocol because they're a smaller company. They're working for a niche use case, um, and they work really well over maybe some new opportunities that VDI could get into, uh, you know, satellite links or old wireless networks. Um, so there's definitely an opportunity to grow with this technology. But nonetheless, it's really interesting that in the field where they are working in, they are uh, setting the bar as far as how you would have a good experience working over high latency and high loss networks.